welcome to an all-new edition of Two Track Tombstone with me, Jay Tombstone. It's the Monday before Halloween, and I'm so excited. I love Halloween. Um, and I'm playing two songs that are kind of Halloween-y. The first one's definitely Halloween-y. Uh, the second one is by Marilyn Manson. Although it's not Halloween-y, it's Marilyn Manson. And there's not, there's definitely not a creepier pop star than Marilyn Manson, in my opinion, who I love very much. Uh, the first one is by Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. A brand new song she just put out, like, last week. And it's obviously made to be a little, uh, Halloween uh, classic type song called Two Big Pumpkins. Of course, I met Elvira in 1988. It was soon after I changed my name and I had these little cards printed up that said, uh, J Tombstone. For anyone who's dying to talk to someone. I had my phone number on it. It was shaped like a little, uh, tombstone. And, uh, Elvira came through Mobile. There was some little festival. I don't even remember what kind of festival it was, but some little festival and she was doing a little appearance uh, promoting, I think, her movie at the time, and, um, I got, uh, a black rose, and I put it in this little box, and, uh, it was lined with, like, red satin, it was a black box, but, like, lined with red satin paper, and one black rose, and my little tombstone card, and I presented it to her, actually, I didn't give it to her, I gave it to the security guard, who then uh, invited me to go backstage, and I got to meet Elvira. And uh, there are pictures, and I look like a, a gleaming idiot. I'm just, like, beaming. My, my mouth is, like, huge. I'm tiny skinny then. She was so short. And it was what those are just wonderful moments to actually get to meet Elvira. And I was, like, 19 at the time. This was, it was, I remember it was after I had my name legally changed, which was August of 1988, and before I got married, which was November of 1988. So I'm pretty sure it was some point in October. She was probably running around doing the Halloween circuit, which Elvira always does. Nonetheless, she's got a brand new song. Did you know Elvira just put out a song just for this Halloween 2014? Did you know that? Well, I'm here to help you with it. So here you go. From Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, who doesn't love Elvira. And it's right around Halloween time. And uh, I went and bought it. So I just gave Elvira a little money. I hope she appreciates it. And I hope you appreciate it. You don't have to go give Elvira money because I got it for you. This is Elvira with Two Big Pumpkins. <laughs> these babies 
things around. They are heavy. Can you imagine my back after carrying that around all day? Oh, lordy. That is Cassandra Peterson, also known as Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, with two big pumpkins. What a cute little song. Isn't that such a cute little song? And isn't it amazing? Have you seen Elvira lately? She looks exactly the same. I mean, we say that about a lot of people, but Elvira, because she specifically tried to look exactly the same for decades, it's really crazy how much she still looks exactly the same. It's crazy. Um, but that's her with the two big pumpkins. Um, what else? The next song. Um, uh, uh, the Drunk Tunes Halloween special happened uh, last weekend, and it went over very well. Um, I wish there had been a little better crowd. I mean, there was a good audience. There was probably, um, I think probably, I would guess like 20 people, 20 to 25 people maybe, um, which isn't bad. But, you know, uh, when you put that much work in, you'd really like a lot more people to see it, especially since that's, that show, as it, as it stands, is all, it's never going to happen again. It's just That's just all there is to it. There's not going to be that episode of Drunk Tunes will not happen again. There's too many. Uh, it was like uh, into cartoons, into live sketches, back into cartoons, back into live sketches. It was a very complicated, twisted thing. Uh, the tech problem, we had no tech problems. That's always uh, a... Um, an accomplishment with drunk tunes. If we get through drunk tunes with no technical problems, that's a winner winner, you know? Um, but, uh, this one went off very well, and uh, I was very glad with it. We're um, next going to be working on our Fringe Fest show. There's going to be a drunk tunes Fringe Fest. Um, I'm not sure even what vision Lene has for it. Of course, it's all Lene's vision. I'm just a puppet. I'm just a loud, obnoxious, wacky puppet to Lene's genius. That's how I see it. Uh, nonetheless, the next song is by one of my favorite people on the planet, Miss, Mr. Marilyn Manson, Brian Warner, Marilyn Manson, who, um, I've loved for a decade now, um, well, almost two decades, I, I, I started liking him right around the, um, Antichrist Superstar, I didn't get into his first album, it wasn't until Antichrist Superstar that I really, uh, fell in love with Marilyn Manson, and I still love him, and he just released a song yesterday, it's a sneak peek off of, uh, I don't even know if it's, it's an album or if it's just a song, I kind of read around online to see, and, uh, you can't get it on iTunes, you can only get it by going to MarilynManson.com and, uh, putting in your email address and registering for the website, and you get the free download of this song. The song is called Third Day of a Seven Day Binge. Just the title of it. I love it. Think about it. The Third Day of a Seven Day Binge. Um, of course, I've seen Marilyn Manson three times. I saw him in Biloxi on the Antichrist Superstar Tour, and I saw him twice at the uh, State Palace Theater. I saw the, um, the Mechanical Animals uh, tour. That's the one where he did the dope show, the dope show tour. And then, what was the other song? I saw, um, one I went with Ambrosia, my dearly departed dead Ambrosia salad. Uh, she's gone. And, um, it was the one before that. What was that album? No, no, I can't remember right now off the top of my head. But I've seen him three times. I love Marilyn Manson. And he puts on an amazing show. I've done. I've said on a podcast previously that the two greatest, as far as showmen that I've seen personally, um, the top two were Bette Midler and Marilyn Manson. They put on an arena show. They know what they're doing, and they know how to do it big and to do it fucking impressive. Yeah, and uh, Marilyn Manson. Nonetheless, this is brand new. Literally, this song came out yesterday. Yesterday, he released this to the public, and I'm playing it for you today. This is, and I've listened to it at probably at least 10, 15 times by now, because I really, really like this song. Uh, this is Marilyn Manson with Third Day of a Seven Day Bench.
Oh my god, I love that song. It's still going. Is there an old something hidden? I don't know. I love that song. And it's, uh, yeah, I, I just heard it. Like I said, it was just released yesterday. I heard it today. And um, it's funny. I think, I hear the new Marilyn Manson thing, and I think two things. I think uh, my ex boyfriend, Jim Faust, the second great love of my life, Jim Faust, uh, who listens to this podcast will probably hate that. And then secondly, I think Jonathan Terranova, who was my bass player for my band, who also listens to this podcast, uh, is going to love that song. <laughs> and it's funny, I think of the two at the same time when I hear new Marilyn Manson, I'm like, Jim will hate it, Jonathan will love it, and I fucking love it! <laughs> um, I love this podcast because it's my own little kind of diary journal these days, and um, I like sharing it with people. But uh, and I love telling old stories and digging up old weird songs. But there is nothing more I love more than presenting brand new music that I love, and I really do love both of those songs that I just played: Two Big Pumpkins by Elvira and Third Day of a Seven Day Bench. I'm not sure if I'm. Going